Welcome investors! Today we'll be talking about Aurora Cannabis. Aurora Cannabis, once a shining star of marijuana industry, fell off the grace drastically during past 21 months. Stock fell down 89% since March 2019 until now, January 2021. Pretty much the same fell like my hair did yesterday. I lost 90% of the length of my hair, but there is still 10% left. And this 10% is still growing. The same like Aurora stock is growing. Since October 28, 2020, stock of Aurora increased 214%. Extremely huge volatility. Where will Aurora go from here? Is Aurora a good investment in cannabis industry? If you are interested in those questions, keep watching. What will you find in this video? 1. Info about ups and downs of Aurora. 2. Balance sheet of Aurora. 3. My holdings of Aurora shares. And 4. My conclusions about Aurora as an investment. After the hype of legalization of marijuana in Canada on October 17, 2018, Aurora went on the massive shopping spree. Many highly overpriced acquisitions. I'll mention just one. In 2018, Aurora acquired Met Relief for $2.03 billion. This was the largest acquisition in marijuana industry and probably the most overpriced deal so far. On January 6, 2020, Aurora started feeling some financial crunch and decided to put on sale most of the facilities acquired from Med Relief. In addition to more than dozen other acquisitions Aurora Cannabis has completed over the past three and a half years, which turned out to be mostly overpaid, the company's balance sheet has ballooned to the point that they have to write off $2.43 billion in goodwill in January 2020. This represents 57% of the company's total assets. It is considerably larger than Aurora's current market cap. After spending money like there is no tomorrow, came a crash for entire cannabis industry starting in March 2019. Aurora stock was the hit the hardest because of all the acquisitions which deeply undermined credibility of the company in the eyes of investors. Stock went down from March 2019 until now 89%. Aurora had to go through a reverse stock split 20 to 1 on May 11, 2020 because stock was going under $1 and was facing being delisted from New York Stock Exchange. Terry Booth, who was co-founder, left the company, and billionaire Nelson Peltz, who joined the company in March 2019, also decided to conclude his relationship with Aurora in November 2020. Aurora was like a Titanic. Everybody was running away from the sinking ship. But surprisingly, this ship did not sink yet. And for the past three months, stock went up 214%. Huge cost cuts, write-offs, and increased efficiency was implemented into the company. On the top of that, entire industry started seeing slightly increased demand. And Aurora also acquired in May 2020 US-based CBD company Reliva, which gives Aurora access to US market, the largest cannabis market in the world. Let's take a look at Aurora's balance sheet. Let's take a look at the revenue of Aurora for the past couple of years. In 2016, the revenue was 1.1 million, 2017, 13.9, 2018, 
2018 42 million 2019 187.5 million and uh, 2020 205.4 million but this is not the entire picture let's take a look at net income of the company net income for past couple years <laughs> 2016 minus 4.4 2017 minus 10 million 2018 54 million 2019 minus 224 million and then 2020 minus 2.4 billion this is the year when Aurora did all the biggest write-offs and also this is important here earnings before interest taxes depreciation and amortization here we go whoops is going down 2019 is 163.6 million and then uh, 2020 minus 282.3 million as you can see aurora has a long way before it becomes really profitable in the future my aurora cannabis shares <laughs> as you can see i own 676 shares and uh, as of uh, right now the shares are worth eight thousand one hundred thirty nine dollars i invested nineteen thousand nine hundred fifty seven dollars so i'm in the red territory eleven thousand eight hundred eighteen dollars which represents 59 percent uh, decrease in the value of the shares at the time when i was buying that was december 3rd 2019 and uh, from this time december 3rd somewhere here uh, i was thinking that this is already down that it's not gonna go down uh, because i look at the past performance and I was thinking hmm, it's already down so only way it can go up but <laughs> I was wrong since the time when I bought Aurora shares they went down around 71 percent 71 percent so that was uh, obviously bad timing I was trying to time the market I'm not gonna lie <laughs> and uh, many times in different stocks uh, it worked for me I already showed you this in some videos previously and I'll show you this in the future but you cannot be right all the time and this is the case when I am wrong <laughs> so like I said my Aurora shares are down 59% uh, down on my return on my investment Aurora with its terrible history of acquisitions and with a huge share dilution is purely speculative stock. Recent growth of stock 214% is not an assurance that the company will grow at similar pace for the next couple of years. Although recent result of the presidential election in US is definitely a wind in the Aurora cell because Democrats are for legalization of marijuana on the federal level. Personally, I'll hold my shares of Aurora until they recover and bring me some kind of return. I don't even know what kind of return I should expect from Aurora right now. Or the shares might go to zero if the company keeps diluting the shares and keeps doing unnecessary acquisitions. I hope that the recent course of new management of Aurora to clean their balance sheet and keep expenses under control will be truly and honestly implemented permanently into the company. What do you think about the future of Aurora? Is Aurora going to be in the leading pack of the cannabis industry companies? 
or their balance sheet is impossible to fix and Aurora will sink eventually like a Titanic to the bottom of the ocean. Please write down your comments. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not a financial advisor, just an amateur investor. I'm here to motivate you to do further research about Aurora. If you find something interesting, please share this with us in the comment section. At the same time, I'm aware that this is just a small fragment of information about Aurora. There is much more info about this company. So go and get this info if you are interested in Aurora. If you like this video, please hit the bottom up. If you see any value, subscribe to the channel for more information and more video coming in the future. And share this video on Facebook, Twitter with your friends. I greatly appreciate all your help. Thank you again for your time today with me. Please stay healthy and have a great day.